What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you see the ambiance that we got going on right now, I just got done filming my first unboxing of my Six Cents Super Six Sack. Um, the reason I'm including it in this video is because I don't know that everybody that watches the tackle making videos watches some of the other ones, so I wanna let you guys know about the Super Six Sacks that Six Cents has to offer. Use my discount code Luna Super Six, and you're gonna be able to get a subscription sack from Six Cents directly shipped to you every single month. That discount code is gonna save you $10 off of your first month, and it's also gonna let them know that I sent you over there, which helps me out as well. So if you guys wanna check out that video, I'm gonna link it down in the description of this video. Um, I really think it's really good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Make sure to go check out that video. A lot of good stuff that you could get sent directly to your house every single month. But we're going to be making a tackle in today's video. Um, I got a special request to make some Cinco style baits for somebody using my Do It Molds Cinco Mold, uh, five inch Cinco Mold. And it's going to be like a blue, pearl, purple kind of color. You guys are going to see it when, when we start getting into it. Um, so Check that video out about the Super Six Sack. I think you guys are gonna like it, but let's get the ambiance out of here. Let's get this garage door open and let's get to making some baits. Okay, so for today's video, we got the Duo Molds Crystal Clear Plastisol in the soft formula. This is good stuff. I use it a lot. I'm gonna get shaken up and then we're gonna get into adding that colorant in there and getting these Cinco's ready to go. So one thing you really wanna remember is you really wanna shake up your Plastisol before you pour it into your measuring cup you get everything starts to separate when they're in those tubs like that so you really got to shake it up real real good before you get going and then um, make sure to add it into a measuring cup that you can put in the microwave these glass cups are what you really really want and uh, you got to take it slow so you don't burn the plastic you don't discolor it or anything like that we got two cups of plastisol in this don't know if it's going to be enough to get all the baits done that i need but this is the biggest measuring cup i have so we're going to go with it and if i have to make more i got to make more when you're warming up your plastisol, you want to take it slow because you can burn it. What I like to do is when it's fresh out of the container before I've heated it up at all, I go one minute increments until it starts to thicken up slightly. Then I go into 30 seconds at a time because that prevents me from burning the plastisol. So that's really, really important. And in today's video, we're using the five inch Gary Yamamoto Senko mold from Do It Molds. It's the same exact dimensions as the actual Senko. Um, yes, Do It Molds can do that. They worked with Gary Yamamoto to use the Senko name and everything. So that's that's the mold that we're gonna be using today, um, using the CNC mold as well. So this is the color that we are trying to match today. It's like a purple pearl with blue flake in it. Instead of the purple pearl, we're gonna be going with a blue pearl inside there, but we're trying to get that purple just like that with some blue flake in it. Hopefully it's coming through on camera. Okay, so we are in the middle of warming up our Plastisol, and what I'm gonna do is add some heat stabilizer into it. Um, doing the one minute intervals, the last time I did the one minute, it kind of got it to get that yellow hue to it a little bit. So I'm going to put some Plastisol stabilizer to try to keep it from doing it anymore. And I'm going to have to reheat the plastic a little bit as I make these baits up. So it's going to help, you know, not burn in those situations either. It's definitely not going to hurt the baits for this tip particular scenario, but if I was trying to do like a pearl or a clear bait or something like that. I might've messed up the plastic, but we're definitely gonna be fine for what we're trying to create today. Okay, so the next time the microwave goes off, we should be good to go in temperature. We're gonna be adding a half a cup of salt because we got two cups of plastic salt, so we're gonna need to add a quarter cup per cup in there. So since we got two, we need to do a half cup and we're just gonna be using this popcorn salt and you want to have a thermometer ready to go when you guys do this to make sure that your plastic gets to 350 degrees i know that after this one it's going to be at that because i've been monitoring it the whole time and uh, i'm going to get this taken out it's going to be nice and warm and you guys want to be making sure you wear gloves while you do this so you don't get burned or anything like that um, but this is the kind of consistency that you're going to be looking for and you got to stir in the salt when you do it it's going to cool down your plastisol a lot and I'm gonna keep trying to stir this and we're gonna add some more in there. Another half, quarter cup. That's good enough. I'm gonna stir it in as well because if you don't stir it in, it really starts to clump up on you. And um, it really filled up this cup of plastic salt too. So I gotta be careful not to spill any of it. But it, I'm putting it in first because it's definitely going to change the hue of everything. So I want to put the salt in first and then I can start to get my color correct based on the salt that's in there. All right, so we're ready to start adding colorant in. 
and this is MF purple. I wanted to get some dual molds color, but um, purple, but they were out of stock. So I went with this and um, I like the dual mold stuff because it's a lot thicker. So it doesn't take quite as much color. Um, the MF stuff is very, very transparent. Um, pretty much everything that you're gonna be seeing in today's video is gonna be a dual molds product. Um, I'm gonna put a bunch of links and everything down in the description of the video. Um, product list, stuff like that, so check it out. And make sure to use the affiliate link for Duo Molds as well. It really helps me out if you use that link. It's how they're tracking um, the sales that I'm generating for them. So make sure to use that link if you end up buying anything after today's video or for anything that you're gonna be buying in the future. It would really, really help me out. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna add is the Soft Baits Hyper Highlights in Blue or Pearl. I'm gonna be doing, this is a quarter teaspoon. And that's about half of it, so that's an eighth of a teaspoon. We're just gonna kind of see what that does. That's gonna give it like a blue sheen. Um, it shouldn't change the color up too much, but it will give it just a little bit of a blue once it's all in there. And I might need to add just a tiny bit of black to darken this purple up. Cause like I said, this purple color that I'm using is pretty transparent, but that salt and that blue pearl that we just put in there will cloud things up a little bit and i'm probably gonna have to um, warm this up a little bit more to get it to stir in all the way but as you can see it's starting to give a little bit of a blue sheen to it which is what we're going for um, but we definitely i think need to darken that up and i'll probably just do like a drop or two of black until we kind of get it to where we want but you got to be very careful with black because you can really mess up your your plastic pretty quick when you're using black Okay, so we just warmed up our plastisol again a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is add a, two drops of black in and just see what it does. Doesn't take a lot. And I just wanna see how this all ends up before I go too crazy with any flakes or anything like that. Cause I still need to add some blue flake in, but I just don't wanna darken it too much. So I gotta take it real slow with the black but it should start to stir in pretty nicely. Yeah, it's still a little bit too vibrant there. So another two drops in there about. So right now we got, you know, a, a fair amount of purple in there, two drop, four drops of black, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of blue pearl. Hyper highlight, do one more black. Oh, two more, I guess we'll go with. But that should darken it up a fair amount. And I think that that's gonna give us pretty close to what we're looking for. And then we'll make a few of them and see how they turn out. All right, now it's time to add some flake in. So we're gonna stir up our plastic a little bit and then we'll add some of that flake in there. This is royal blue color flake. And we're gonna get a full quarter teaspoon in there. And then we'll stir that in there, see how it looks. And then we might need to add a little bit more flake in there. Not exactly sure, never made this color before. So we're just kinda going with it and seeing how everything turns out. But I think this is actually a really cool color. All said and done. I like that blue. When you don't have as much on the, the knife, the purple really, really starts to stand out in that blue pearl starts to kind of fade off a little bit but um you gotta see i think that's plenty of blue flake in there that's really a cool color this is turning out really really cool so we're gonna go with that we're gonna shoot some of these up here in a second and uh i think these are turning out just how i wanted them all right well it's time to pour up some of these Senkos. hopefully they turn out good i think it's a cool color regardless of how close we got to the color match but since we're doing a color match, it'd be nice to get it close, obviously. Um, but uh, I think this color is definitely a good nighttime color for sure. That purple, it's like a June buggy color. It turned out a lot more blue, I think, than I was hoping for. Probably put too much of that pearl powder in there. It definitely blued it up a lot. Um, I, I don't know if the a combination of the blue flake and then the blue pearl powder turned it real blue or not but occasionally i see a lot of that purple shine through but then a lot of times i see a lot of blue so i'm not exactly sure but uh we'll check these out once they cool down all right so it's time to open up the mold i think everything's cool enough 
open it up, check everything out, and see how they turned out. They're definitely a cool color, but definitely more blue than what we were going for. But I think they, they'll still think that's a really cool color. I think it'll definitely play at night. It's almost like a, a midnight blue type of a color. So there's not much that I can do to these to make them closer to what I'm going for. It's just too dark, it's too blue. There's just really nothing I could do. I might be able to add some more Plastisol to it to kind of like lighten everything up, some more clear Plastisol. But I think it's just one of those deals where in order to hit that color match, I just got to start from scratch again. But we're going to keep pouring these up until I'm basically done with this plastic and um, see if they're happy with this, if it's close enough to what they're going for. And if not, we'll figure out something to do with them. Let's take out our Cinco's, see how they turn out. This mold shoots pretty good, so I'm sure they turned out pretty darn solid. Take them out of the mold. Yep, it turned out good. They're just, they're just so blue. I think on camera they just they're super vibrant blue but they're a little bit more purple in person but um, still a cool color I think they'll definitely catch some fish I think it's a great like pond color dirty water color nighttime color early early morning late in the afternoon something like that but I definitely think they'll catch fish all right well we're gonna get another round of baits poured up I'm gonna show you guys another way to pour into your injector when you're getting low on plastisol like I am here and basically what you can do is take the nozzle off. There's a dual molds injector right here. Open it up all the way. And then we are just going to pour in the plastisol like so. Hopefully it's on camera up there. But you just pour it in just like this. And sometimes you overfill it. At least sometimes I do. But that's enough. It's going to squeeze out a little bit. But that's alright. Put your injector lid back on and then inject it this is one good way you don't get any air or anything like that in the injector or anything like that usually the uh, flow is really really good as well and when you get low on plastisol you can do it like that so that way you don't end up sucking up air at the bottom of it or getting it clogged with you know something that's stuck down the bottom or whatever but it's a good thing to do when you're at the end of your plastic all right well let's open up our mold check out our baits if you hear the microwave going in the background it's just because i still got some more to pour i'm not going to bore you guys with that but we still got some more to pour check out how these turned out and as usual they turned out pretty darn good take that sprue off and we'll just set them down to the side. And as you can see, I've already poured a bunch more off camera. I don't want to bore you guys with too many of these redundant pours. Well, there's a close-up of our Senkos. Definitely, like I said, more blue than what I was going for. Not enough purple. Um, it's just too strong of a blue. But uh, still a cool color. Still a good night fishing color for sure. Well, guys, there you have it. There's our finished baits right there. Really cool color. Definitely color match failure though. Did turn out really, really good. But um, when I'm going for that purple, these did not turn out purple. One tip before we go, when you're using this mold, make sure to pour your plastic hot. Um, when I wasn't pouring it hot enough, it was starting to dimple a little bit. And um, to get the most consistent baits out of it, pour that plastic hot. I got a lot better fill that way. Um, the mold just worked a little bit better that way. So that's a tip when you're using this Senko mold from Duet Molds. If you guys go and buy any products from Duet Molds, please use my affiliate link. Really, really helps me out. It's really important for you guys to use that. And I would really appreciate the support with you using that affiliate link. It's just a way so they can track sales coming from my content. So hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Definitely turned out in turned in a cool color but definitely a color match failure. That might be the name of the video's color match failure, but still a cool color, still gonna be catching fish on those baits. So see you guys next time.